Well, hello everyone, what is going on? It is the Almighty Jeff, and we are here with episode 16 of Grand Theft Auto V. In the previous episode, we started off by running through our third set of stun jumps. We found our first abandoned vehicle, met up with mods, which started the Bail Bonds missions, with the one specifically called Special Bond. Uh, we went to the inn where we met up with the Chinese triads leaders, uh, Mr. Cheng, I think is what his name was, and he was the translator. Uh, which completed the mission for Trevor Phillips Industries, where we basically tried to take to the meth lab, but Ortega and the Aztecas attacked. We fought them off. Jobs are good. Um, we went to deal with some Lost MC thieves up in Creepseed, uh, if I can recall. I think it was up here, wasn't it? Uh, we took our first bail bond over, who was uh, hiding out in the quarry. We took him over to Maud. Run through our first. Uh, Border Patrol, random event, which was better still in us shooting up some rogue Border Patrol people who were basically trying to kill us. And to finish off, we got some tattoos, got a haircut, and also robbed a store. So, uh, so as I got this episode, we're going to be running through our first set of Under the Bridge, sort of. So I'll do the quick cut and I'll see you guys as we're done. Okay, uh, before I explain what we're going to do with this under the bridges, we are starting off with our first run of event, which is Drunk Driver number one. There are two events of these, and I've waited specifically to do these with Trevor. Um, I think they actually only unlock once you start up Trevor's missions anyway, but um, I'll explain more in a moment. It's Don't just this is going to take fun. us quite a while. So, um, I'll explain on the way up. Totally fine. Just had a couple of beers. What are you talking about? We had like six shots each. You? Will you two just make out already? Hey, can you give me a ride? Just so Boy Scout there can get his buzzkill badge. There's my car. No, oh, we have to take his car. Alright, no problem. Uh, so, yeah. The reason why we only did four in that Under the Bridge set was because we were actually going to be running through six in total in this next mission we're going to be doing, so we'll get them all then instead. Um, there's also the fact that we already had two to start with. So, Ooh, where are we going? Um, well, we're actually going to this altruist camp, just like the game told us, which is all the way up here, which is why I've decided to wait until now to tell you all this. So obviously you've got a little event that could just take us over there, but we're taking them all the way up here. It'll I'm on be worth it in the end. Off, uh, Howick Ave. It's not that far. Well, we're going a little Whoa, bit further. Oh, I don't feel so good. I just got a mouthful of, of something. You better take it slow. Hey, thanks for this, man. As you can see, I could have driven. No problem, but Joy Killer back there had to lay a guilt trip on me. Ow! You make me hurl! No problem, but Joy Killer back there had to lay a guilt trip on me. I believe they wanted me to walk. Walk? Do you really think this is Europe? Just because I sound drunk doesn't mean my... Uh, this doesn't whoa, whoa. look right. Where the hell are we? Just because I sound drunk doesn't mean my brain's drunk. You know? It's offensive. You don't call a deaf kid stupid for talking funny. I can't believe he just walked out without me. Why did guys turn into... What are you doing? I can't believe he just walked out without me. Why do guys turn into such assholes when they get married? Well, he can go back to his boring family to jacking off in the garage after everyone's gone to bed. I'll stick with my awesome life. Thank you. Your buddy's a fool. Ditching a charming raccoon tour like you. This is nothing. You should see me on Thanksgiving. 
pumping the turkey sound. You, know? you like my wishbone, don't you? Look at classic me. <laughs> the ladies in that place, dude, all over me like a rash. I'd have cleaned up if I didn't have the worst fucking wingman ever. Oh, uh, be nice if everything stops spinning around soon. Baba Black Sheep, have you any booze? No, sir, no, sir, I'm a sheep. <laughs> Last time I partied with that guy, I was gone. Fuck, dude. Oops. Oh, shit. Uh, I'm, I'm gonna bark. Oh, there you go. Oh, that's it, little man. Sing me a rainbow. <laughs> Ugh. Feeling bad. <laughs> Dude, sorry about that. Uh, most of it went out the window. I'll, uh, I'll throw some cash your way. Now, try that again without slurring. Okay. Yeah, so. I feel much better. That tactical vomit really sorted me out. Starving now. Oh, yes! I still got some cluck and bell at home from last night. I am all over that! I tell you, the planets are aligned, bro. Karma is sucking my boy right now. Yeah, I don't think I it is. I promise <laughs> you're not as interesting as you think you are. All right, so as I was saying before, uh, the reason why we already had two at the start is because we picked up two during the um, altruist mission, not the altruist one, anyway, the um, Epsilon mission a few episodes back with Michael. Remember, we were flying a plane. Uh, we had to fly under one of them for an optional, but decided to fly under both that we encountered. Uh, both of those are two of the bridges that we're going to be flying under during this next mission, which is why, uh, if you do your maths, uh, we're at six under the bridge stunts now. We're going to do six in this next mission. Two of them have already gone. So that adds up to four, and that means we'll take us up to a nice solid ten. Ah, there we go. Now, I know this has been quite a trek with this guy taking one to the Altruist camps. The other, well, three people technically that we're going to be taking up, although it's two sets of people, uh, they are much closer. So, well, one of them is definitely a lot closer. One of them is about halfway. So, it's not too bad. But considering this guy, you know, drunk as he is, like to have a bit of a chit chat, I thought I'd uh, keep the trip in. But if there are instances in the future that uh, is more of like a quiet trek up, we might as well just cut out. But seeing as we're already here. Oh, this does not look like my neighborhood. Oh, it's just up here. I took the scenic route. You say so? Yeah, trust Trevor. That's a wise thing to do. At least he's fully clothed this time. At least that gives him a little sense of. Maybe I could trust this guy, he is wearing clothes, but yeah. So there's four people who need to take us to, to this altruist camp to get like a special random event and a lot of money, like I said last time. Uh, we're probably going to do one set per episode. Uh, so you'll be able to see the rewards from this in a couple of episodes time. There we go. Hell fella! What do you got? I heard you're interested in taking care of some lost travelers for a price. And so it is. And so it is. Leave the body, take the gold. Come on. Move. Move. Okay. There we go. We got a thousand dollars. Not bad. But we'll definitely get a lot more than that in the future. Okay. So. Next, uh, we're going to do the Bell Bond mission, the second one, uh, which I believe is over here. Let's check our email. That'll be the place, yep. Yeah. Alright. Uh, let's just get down to the main road and we'll get a taxi over, oh, there's no point. What Uh, it'll take a, we, we, I've got a lot planned, I know the mission itself is quite long, I want to get everything done today, so, Just save as much time as we can. Oh, oh hello rabbits, or oh, hares. Alright. Would you send out a... Yep. Okay, so, uh, plan is, get bail bond done, uh, we'll move on to Nervous Run, which is the next mission. Uh, get all that stuff done. 
Uh, there's a property that opens up from doing that mission that I'm going to purchase. Uh, Is that my taxi? Why did you go? Why did you go turn around? That's not very. That's not fun. What did you do that for? Where did he go? Oh, I see him down there. <laughs> I just saw him go to the end of the road and do a U-turn. I could have run up to you, dude. Come on. Seriously? You didn't need to do that. I was right behind you. Stop. Oh, is this not even my guy? Where you headed, homie? Alright, well. <laughs> I don't care. Alright, this is when you need to be careful of because... Uh, this is the spot, right? They uh, won't take too kindly to your presence. So. And we're Boyfriend. All right, you. Guess I want to be careful not to actually kill this guy. This ain't worth it. Just take me in. Oh, good, good. Now heal and no begging. Okay, okay. Let's go. In now. Wasn't very nice, Larry. Whoa! Hang on. Surely it ain't. Trevor Phillips? Am I that forgettable? Well, I was pretty messed up back then. And you, well, years ain't been kind to none of us, have they? <laughs> How you been? Oh, oh, I can't complain. Yourself? You know, up and down. Look, sorry for that back there. Didn't know it was you. Hey, no harm done. Glad to hear it. Ha! Well. Isn't this pleasant? <laughs> okay. Well, I'm sorry, dude. I know you know Trevor, but you're going on to Mons anyway. So, seeing as we're old acquaintances, what do you think about giving me a pass this time? All I did was cook up a batch, not even a real crime. You know how it is. Well, let's look at this objectively, shall we? You've shot at me, insulted my rugged good looks, and shamelessly gone after my market share. I'd just consider yourself extremely lucky your heart is still beating and not being stomped under my foot right now. Oh yeah, right. I heard about Johnny. Yes. If it wasn't for the fact I'd made a commitment to Maud and have a soft spot for the mature woman. Maud? Oh, <laughs> hell, she smells like spoiled chicken feet. Maybe you can work your charms on her, see if she'll let you off. She's certainly hankering for some male company, huh? What'd you think, huh? 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 No way. I'll take the jail time. <laughs> oh, bless. I don't bite. Uh, I bet you do. Hello, stranger. Who's this? Hello, Maud. I found this man wandering the streets, and I thought that maybe you uh, might be able to find him a home. I think I can do that. Anyway, let's not waste all day with the inconsequential chit chat. You'll be receiving a file from me shortly. <laughs> Spitting a file from me shortly, Maud. File from me shortly. There we go. Another nice ten thousand dollars in the bank. Something I shall accept happily. Fan Dubby Dozy. All right. Time to go back to the tea and get the next mission underway. Which, like I said, is a pretty lengthy one. So hopefully we have enough time to get everything I want to get done this episode. But we're definitely not going to get as much done as we did last time. Which I realised when I was watching back on the footage, I was like, oh my god, we've jumped up 5%. I'm like, no, we haven't. Uh, I, I would, I'd skipped an episode in terms of uh, checking my stats. I don't think I checked after Mr. Phillips, or maybe I did and I forgot, but 
we were at 25% after the mission, the um, episode before, so not quite that lucky. Alright, what do you want? What's going on, Ron? They were here for you! Here! For you! Who was here? Them bikers! After you killed Johnny K? And they damage my stuff, huh? They smash up my home, damage my soul! This, 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 this statue here of impotent rage, this fucking meant more to me than Johnny K meant to anyone, and they smashed it. <laughs> Those pathetic midlife crisis, hog riding, shaven headed, fruity leather, chapped wearing fucking assholes. They're assholes, Trevor, they are. They're chap wearing assholes. <laughs> wait, 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 you little shit. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Hey. Michael fucking Townley, right? Bitch wife, two kids, 45, find him. Los Santos is a big, big place, Trevor. There's lots of people. You are fucking useless. Huh? Find out who did that fucking robbery, all right? And if Michael Townley lives there, or anyone matching his description, I'm gonna kill you and your fucking cousin. Am I being clear now? Yes, Trevor. Thank you, Wayne. Now smile. Uh, yeah, uh -huh. That's better. Run along. <laughs> now, Ron. Shall we go? I cannot believe that they fucking destroyed my statue of impotent rage. The cheek! Huh? The fucking cheek of it. <laughs> How dare Gotta make a stop at ammunition. You're meeting me at the Lost MC's airfield. Okay. No problem. I'm in your ear when I get a hold of you. Oh, what are you buying at the gun shop? I'm not buying anything. I need a sniper rifle with a high power scope. They say they support local business. Well, we're about to find out if that's true. <laughs> yeah, can you just uh, give me a sniper, please? Free of charge. That'd be great. Melvin! How you feel about brand synergy, huh? TP Industries. Ammunition. Good, because you're about to make a corporate gift of a rifle, a high-powered scope, and a suppressor. Uh, take whatever you want, Trevor. I can't afford another fire. <laughs> That's the rifle I need. That's the chestnut. Now I need a scope and a suppressor. They won't hear me coming. Get that look off your face. I know you sold Cletus's gun, and he ain't got three brain cells. <laughs> All right. There it is. We got our rifle. Let's do some shooting. Now nah, shoot dicks. Run! Run! I got the gun. Meet me at the water tower just north of the airfield. Roger that, Trevor. But you gotta look out, because there's bikers all over this airstrip. Of course there are! Two planes are touching down at the field on a weapons run. We're gonna wait till the right time and appropriate them. We are? Yes, we are! I'm up here. I don't see the hardware, but I do see a hell of a lot of bikers. Hardware's not here yet. I'm coming up. We gotta wait till you can slip in there unnoticed. Should give you the time to plan a route to the gas tank you're rigging up to blow. Okay. Enough waiting. This is your moment, Ronald. Whenever you get a doubt in your mind, I want you to remember that I'm watching you through the scope of a high-powered rifle. Right, Trevor. Right, right. Got it. Now, relax. <laughs> the ATV can only take you so far. Park it and don't let them spot you. Can you see me, Trevor? Trevor? You see me? You wouldn't believe this, Ron. One of these assholes is having a seizure or something. That's me. <laughs> That's me. Don't shoot. Well, get a move on. I'm moving. Just keep me covered, okay? All right, keep it cool, Ron. Okay, come on, dude, you can't get away. No problem. Good kill, Trevor. You're walking like you shot yourself. Move. Shit! I hear an engine! They're gonna see that guy you shot! Maybe if you shoot those 
lights on the tower, it won't be so obvious. You got him! Now don't shoot the guy in the van until he stops and gets out. Alrighty. Kevin. Again, there's no one left to kill, so get over to that gas tank and plant the bomb. I'm on it, but there's a guy coming out of that building, I think. I can hear him. There's a second guy coming out of the building. Got him. Good kill, Trevor. Sputter in the works. There we go. Thing with this 
statue. If you'd read our latest shareholder report, Ron, you'd know TP Enterprises has been exploring a takeover of some lost MC business in the armaments and narcotics sectors for some time. And that kind of requires someone to purchase our guns. Right, of course. But Johnny This is a first bridge. Recent events, my impending departure included, have only expedited things. Trevor Phillips is second. Is a far superior organization to the Lost Leather Club. Well, we yeah, have to improve revenue fine. streams, cut overheads, and maximize profit. All that. <laughs> I wouldn't expect anything less. For one thing, we won't be paying a bunch of idiots to stand around in cowhide sniff engine fumes. It's important work you're doing out here. God knows we need a sharp mind running things. I am blessed to be a part of it. Of course. This is the third. Okay. There's a flare in the water. I'm guessing it's them. It better be. Drop your load. Yeah, drop your load, Ron. Okay, so we need to get kind of low in this area. If you can see the bar on the minimap. Yeah. We don't want to show on the radar. Um, you you want to stay between the line, the big uh, lines, really. Otherwise, the military will be like, hey, you can't do that, and then shoot you down. So, don't do that. Obviously, you, you have a few seconds if you do go over the top. It will just immediately shoot you. That would be a bit cruel. Alright. And boom. They got the packages! Shipment successfully delivered, Ron. Now remember, if you beat me to the airstrip, I'll okay. butcher your carcass and Arapian cheese cloth. Which we've already flown under. So I won't get the credit for it, but uh in terms of like, the optional, because you need to fly under six bridges for the option of this mission. TP Enterprises are raising guidance, and the lost MC are posting unexpectedly soft projections for the coming quarter. And our fifth bridge and the second one that we've already picked up is this one. Conspiracy like the lost MC shouldn't let a goon like Johnny K represent them. He was a man past his prime. I heard I'm gonna go you over the road slightly for this one just to right out of him. Sure did. get our aim a little bit better. Makes it a bit man easier. Was weak for Crystal, weak for Ashley, man and this is the sixth bridge. Shouldn't have spoken to me like that. And this will take us up to ten. He was a fool, and you corrupted him. He'll not do that again. Now um Occasionally, um I just saw Ortega's trailer went through there. You can get these two bridges here, the, the, which would obviously be third and fourth that we got in the actual set we did at the start of the episode. It was a bit easier in a helicopter. We might be able to buy into Oscar's thing, but leave that to me, Ron. I'm sorry to ask this, but does your contact pay well for this kind of shipment? As you can see, we're no longer in the no-fly zone. Oh, he pays. Better than any in this sorry country. That's good to hear, man. We'll talk about the exact split when we're grounded, okay? All right. Split being probably Trevor gets all of it, you get nothing. Because that is what Trevor is like. A bit of a dick. Alright. They say our first rodeo would land in the plane. I didn't have to pilot it last time, but it was nothing difficult. I think that was adequate restitution for my impotent rage statue. That was a mighty fine statue, Trev. That was a mighty fine piece of plastic shit. But there is no price for emotional attachment. I mean, you might forego your cut to uh, alleviate my heartache. I might. Yeah, I mean, I will. Good idea. <laughs> Don't have time to dwell on that now. Because we got more runs, Ron. If there is one thing that they need south of that big fence, it is guns. <laughs> Trevor Phillips Industries. Technical expertise. Hmm? Managerial innovations. Unstoppable. Oh, that's right. Now go. I need to meditate. Or master. Or both. <laughs> Alright. 
sweet. So uh, we can now purchase properties through San Andreas, as it says. Um, this one in particular is something that we will be purchasing. I don't think we'll do it today just because of well, we get a bit close and I need to do my second random event. Um, but we'll definitely get it done next episode. Have no fear. Alright. I think we can buy all of them across the map now. Um, so that could be something that we're going to be going too heavily into just because of the fact that they are quite pricey and we need money. So, yeah. But we'll purchase the hangar next time. So don't, don't fret. However, the mission... We did all but the time, which I predicted. So that is fantastic. Yeah. Nice. Okay. I requisitioned this. Hope nobody minds. Mmm, finance guy. Mm, my favorite. Alright. Uh, that is at the top of Mount Chiliad. Okay, no problem. We shall get to that next time too. Uh, I do want to head to this road here. Now there are two events on this small road. Both of them practically across the road from each other. Okay. Um, so, I mean, there's one that I want to get, but if the other one props up instead, I'm not that arse, because obviously it's just a random event. And that is, uh, th the one that I'm hoping for is the Chase Thieves, City uh, Chase Thieves Country number two, which is the, the, the only other country one, the other ones being in the city. Um, alternative, there is one that is exclusive to the next-gen release of GTA 5. I'm actually not going to go down this road, because there's another event that might spawn that I'm going to do next time. Um, I believe it's, I can't quite remember what it's actually called, I think it's called Deal or something, uh, but you basically get like this this bulletproof car, and you steal it and then people don't like it that you've stole it, <laughs> it's basically the gist of it, so you got to put them down, so we either get the event of event that I want, or we get a bulletproof car, either way, I don't, I'm not going to complain. As you can see, we're coming to a property that's greyed out or blacked out, I guess. Uh, that's because it is exclusive to one character, and that one in particular is exclusive to Franklin. Um, so. Oh, we did get the. Um, Not those bikers again. Yeah, we got the biker one. That's awesome. Cool. Pull over. Come on! Oh, do 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 Come on! Whew. That's close. Thank God for Trevor's special ability. Thank you. <laughs> that was very nice. <laughs> well, I thought I'd have to uh, pull it out again and then I'd have to lose my car again. But a nice passing gentleman just happened to, to shove the car out of the way for me. Very nice. <laughs> Alright, awesome. I'm glad we managed to get the event that I wanted as well. That's uh, pretty cool of a game. There's a guy coming. You, my fine fellow. There you go. I persuaded him to change his mind. Wow, insane. I'd say you earned yourself a reward, bro. Ah, don't thank me. I'd have tried to kill them all anyway. <laughs> um, in fact, there's one last thing that I'm going to do, although it's going to be an off-screen thing, really, and that is I'm going to go back and watch TV, because that'll finally take care of that miscellaneous event. Again, it doesn't contribute to 100% at all, but um, it's on the Rockstar checklist, so... Uh, just what it is. Yeah, I 
get tons of bloody things now. So, yeah. Alright, no problem. But, uh, yeah, so we've got this hangar and um, helipad now at the Sandy Shores airline. So, if we purchased any planes or helis, or even just landed them here, I think it saves them to the uh, thing. So, so we could be... In. We're also going to run through those stunt plane time trials eventually. Um, probably not soon. I've got plenty of things I want to be doing first. Uh, yeah. Okay. Stop, stop, stop. Slow down. Slow down, sailor. Alright. Oh, no, I don't. You are kidding me, right? That did just happen. Oh, for crying out loud. Well, thank God that the hospital's just around the corner. Hmm. I'm slightly concerned that the uh, the race has gone. The stock car races. Uh, out of the shop again. Now I might have to look into that. But home is within walking distance, so that's fine. <laughs> I can't believe that happened. I thought it stopped, and then obviously he decided to just jump out a little bit prematurely. Come on. We can settle down and watch some TV. Uh, before we do so, just so I can wrap the episode up. Let's... One more hit. Then I'm gonna go and I'm gonna sort my life out. Now let's have a look through our stats. So, uh, hang on. Game first. So, missions, you can see. Just gonna do the time. We're actually not that far off, to be honest. A minute and a half left. Um, Stats. Checklist gone up one percent. That's not too shabby. We've only really gone up a mission, I think. I think everything else was optional. So yeah, uh, that is where we're going to end it for today, guys. In the next episode, we'll run through some more stunt jumps, do the next mission, uh, some more stranger missions, not stranger missions, some more bail bonds and some more random events. So I hope you guys enjoyed this episode. If you did, be sure to like, comment, subscribe, and be sure to share the video, and I will see you guys in episode 17. Bye, guys.